All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. You all are going to have to... There we go. We are live. I see it now. That's wonderful. There's the comments. Okay, I had a feeling it would do all of these things. I've been talking to uh, uh, apparently no one. Um, so, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, uh, I am just going to go ahead and jump right in. Um so I'm going to record this for anyone who uh, pops in live, uh, as well as anyone who decides to replay this and then uh, probably post this on YouTube as well. Um, for starters, uh, in case you don't know me, uh, my name is Jared. I am the video game pastor, started video game pastors ministry. Um, and man, it has been such an incredible ride. One, you are gonna have to pardon my my congested voice. Um, my wife and I got sick and I always have just sinusy kind of issues. And then today I decided to cut my lawn as well as my neighbor's lawn uh, lawns. And so all of that outdoor grass, dust, thrown up, all of that has just triggered everything. So I've got my tissues here, um, so everything is draining right now. But uh, it has been <clears throat> seriously such a fun, uh, such a fun ride as um, we are really, today kind of marks uh, about halfway through the year, about six months in into this journey, a little bit longer than that. Um, and, and, and it has been this ministry has been a lot of different things. It started, as some of you know, uh, a review, uh, a YouTube channel doing reviews um, of video games with a Christian perspective, trying to find ways to help parents encourage their kids through video games, but also be informed of some of the most popular video games like Minecraft, like Fortnite, and so on. Um, so that being kind of the, the initial direction, um, and then realize, you know what, I wanna find I think there's more to this idea and still processed and thought uh, through what this could look like. And uh, and now we're at the place where it was, okay, well, now I, wanna, I wanted to find uh, more, try to find, look, when you go on YouTube or Twitch, there is a mess of things that could get kids into a mess of troubles. Um, there's so much content out there, but but even the clean ones, the, the content creators are not themselves uh, good role models for kids. And these are the people. These are the new Steph Currys and Michael Jordans. These are the new heroes, um, these these video game uh, uh, content creators. So, so I, I had this thought of like, okay, what if I could get more... Uh, more video game pastors on board creating content, the same content that uh, so-and-so is creating on YouTube, uh, but with a Christian bent. And that, I think that that's still, that's still a, a thought and an idea and a, and a future goal, uh, but really tried to find a way to get a little bit more practical and that's where uh, Minecraft really started to blow up with this idea of doing Bible studies. So first and foremost, what I want to do is just to simply say thank you. Thank you initially to the, the first couple of families who jumped into a Minecraft, who had their kids jump into a Minecraft Bible study. Um, you allowed me to learn. You gave me feedback. Uh, not all of it obviously easy to take. But you gave me feedback that was so valuable for this ministry that now we can celebrate that we have 30 families, about 30 families and, and, and over 40 kids who are now in some sort of Bible study or camp uh, or, or vacation Bible school all on Minecraft. And I want to thank those families. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this. Not just that, though. Um, I spent some time, I want to say March-ish, uh, cold calling all of the Christian schools from Miami to Vero Beach, and I want to thank Sunlight Christian Academy for picking up the call and immediately saying, let's figure out something that we can do. And so sure enough, uh, uh, Sarah Wilson Hyde, the head of school, said, let's, we've got this 
uh, two month summer camp that we do and we want you to be a part of it. Do we know what it looks like? No, but we're gonna figure it out. And sure enough, we did. Their media, media coordinator, instructor, teacher, whatever, Heather Hernandez and I figured out a way to bring Minecraft through their Minecraft education edition to the school, to all of the, the devices. And we are three weeks into a summer program at their Christian uh, summer camp uh, and, and we've seen somewhere along the lines of 80 different kids, six different classes, anywhere from 12 to 15 kids in each one, all playing Minecraft. And let me tell you something about that. Let me tell you something about that group. It's in person. Uh, it's in a, I, I don't know, I'd actually say a smaller size classroom with uh, computer setup. There's no soundproofing at all in the classroom, which means it is loud because all of these kids are enjoying themselves. And in my opinion, I think when kids are loud, it just simply means they are having fun. And so uh, uh, sure enough, that is, uh, that is exactly what is going on. So they are, they're loud, they're boisterous, they're having so much fun. I mean, we've got five-year-olds, six-year-olds, six all the way up to seventh graders um, who are just loving it. First-time Minecraft players, but still enjoying themselves learning, but enjoying themselves. So thank you, Sunlight, for uh, being in discussion and allowing video game pastors to find a way to successfully pull off these camps. And something, as we've talked about, something that we can now uh, we can now replicate for other schools. I want to also uh, shout out to my church and their kids ministry, CF Kids, that I was a part of. Um, but uh, CF Kids, thank you for sending out uh, a couple of emails promoting a, a four-week camp. Uh, the, the reception from that was phenomenal. And the fact that we have two groups running for an idea that is, I mean, the fact that people say yes still blows my mind because I know that this is something that's so needed in our world and in our Christian community, but it's also so new. So it's so difficult for sometimes for people to really grasp like, okay, what are, what are, we, what are we doing here? Uh, how is this going to work? So thank you uh, to those families who have jumped in. We've got to two full groups uh, on, on Thursdays and they have been so much fun. Uh, and then I also want to say thank you uh, uh, now and certainly in the future to Christian FM. I guess it really starts with Sarah Wilson Hyde again from Sunlight Christian Academy, uh, but she got me uh, connected to Michelle Pence from uh, Christian FM, who is a local Christian radio station. And I'm surprised, Christian FM. Um, but they called me, and they're doing a back-to-school bash. Was anyone Port St. Lucie? You should definitely come out to. Uh, I can. Uh, I'll. I'll put in the comments the information. I think it's August 8th, but I gotta make sure. Um, but there is a very, very high probability. In fact, we're meeting next week at the. Uh, I want to say Port St. Lucie Civic Center. Um, I think that's where it is. I'm still new to Port St. Lucie, but we're meeting there to really kind of scope out. But what we're going to do is we're going to have probably uh, three or four Nintendo Switches with Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers and uh, Video Game Pastors is going to be out there uh, promoting the ministry, but also having a place for kids to connect and hang out and play video games together, which is just awesome. So thank you for that uh, opportunity. And then finally, had a really, really cool phone conversation uh, with Anchor of Faith. Uh, Anchor of Faith is run by a friend of mine, Mike, who uh, we served together in kids ministry a couple of years ago. He called me up yesterday and basically, and Anchor of Faith, if you don't know, they are the, uh, I don't even know what the equivalent would be. Maybe not like Uline. Uline is very specific, but they are... If you, if you can think of something that a church needs in bulk, whether it be banners or pens or uh, t-shirts or whatever it is, uh, they are the guy. And, they, and Mike, what he does is he intentionally finds 
Uh, and, and again, good, good stuff. If you, I, I know for sure, if you go to Christ Fellowship and you have uh, a, a t-shirt, a Christ Fellowship t-shirt of some sort or sisterhood, I know that the, the sisterhood water bottles, uh, that all came uh, from Mike and he works really, really hard to get the best possible pricing for churches because we know churches and, you know, we, we want to steward um, what people give so well. So, that is, uh, uh, that's Mike. He, he called me up and he basically said, Jared, I, 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 I am, I remember our times so fondly uh, in kids ministry and you and our family. And I'm seeing on Facebook what you're doing. And I just want, I just want to find a way to be a part of it. And so we're, we're connecting about maybe some, I don't know, I, I don't know about merch. Uh, there's some branding stuff that I want to make sure, but at least some sort of t-shirt that I can wear when I go certain places. So uh, maybe some banners and such, especially for this in-person uh, big bash that's going to have like 1,500 people, uh, back to school bash with Christian FM. So uh, thank you uh, to Mike for even just calling your your story uh, was such an encouragement to, to me. Um, I wrote another thing here. Oh, so now all, those are all the thank yous. And, and I think what that shows is like, like, these are the moments that I just want to remember. I remember hearing a, a sermon from my pastor uncle up in Michigan um, talking about an Ebenezer stone. I, honestly, I'm, I'm just shooting from the hip. I don't even remember the story, but but the, the, the point of it was it was sat down as a place where it was a reminder. It was a, it was a remembrance of what God has done up until this point. Because there was a big journey. Maybe it was Abraham. I don't know. But there was just, just this recognition of this is what God has done up until this point. And we need to absolutely celebrate that. This is everything. All of the thank yous are just movements of God. And I want I wanted to take this moment tonight as, as a obviously an update and all that kind of stuff. But also to say I'm going to hold on to this video because six months from now, I'm just, I'm so excited for what God is going to do because that is the God that we serve. So, and then, and then a year from now, and then two years from now, and then a decade from now to see, and I'm just looking around at, you know, what I have, this, you know, a little bit more budget of a condenser mic, a, a decent webcam, and then, and then uh, uh, just, you know, the, the, the couple of, you know, 40, that's a phenomenal number. 80 at Sunlight Christian Academy, but imagine what God is going to do. Imagine the ways he's going to move in this ministry. I believe so, so strongly that this is just the, this is just the beginning. I mean, this is just the beginning. We've barely taken a few steps in the marathon that he has for us. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really excited for that. Well, I think one of the ways that's going to help, uh, uh, clarify uh, a little bit about this ministry is I'm in the process of rebranding and I, I really do think this rebrand this is going to be it like it's not going to change from uh, video game reviews to for parents to video game pastors and then so on um, but the rebranding is uh, video game ministries and this is what it's gonna be called I'm the video game pastor you all know that uh, and I am the leader of video game ministries and that is it um, so that's uh, that is going to be the the big switch you'll see rolled out and changed on different posters at the the Facebook page Page. I got to update that and all of that. So you, you'll see that uh, over the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, but I think video game ministries gives so much more clarity as a name to people. In fact, I've already bought the domain. So if you wanted to buy the too late, I bought them. Um, so I, I, I bought a video game ministries.com and org. So uh, there will be websites built for that in the future. We'll get there when we get there. I wanted to I wanted to throw out to you a couple of uh, one as I see six viewers. Uh, just want to stop and say thank you so much for joining. Feel free to if you have any questions. I want to leave uh, some question time open at the end of our time. Um, uh, so feel free to write them in the comments. I'd love to answer them here. Um, and and I'll even what I'll do is I'll, I'll put like a when I answer the question I'll put like a time uh, you know thirteen whatever is when I answer that question so anyone in the comp whatever um, so upcoming uh, I want to I want to talk a little bit about what we have going on in the future really really excited in fact this Friday uh, again at sunlight I I'm so sorry I need to pause. 
because there is a thank you that I completely missed. I, I have it all listed here. I have them say this first, one, two, three, four, five, but they're out of order. So I need to pause and say thank you to Adam Skolnick of CIA, um, introduced by, again, uh, uh, Sarah Wilson-Hyde from Sunlight Christian Academy. He uh, Adam is one of the uh, uh, pastors and leaders at Sunlight uh, some like community church and he all what he leaves is this awesome awesome boys club called Christ in action CIA so clever naming there um, but it is a he, he's told me there's a lot of statistics about churches and their lack of there's a lot of strong women's ministries but they're they're a lot of churches don't have a very strong men and especially boys ministry. And so what he's done is he create he he has created a really simple way to uh, resource a church with a year's worth of uh, curriculum and and kind of how to lead a boys ministry. So he's been such a phenomenal connect and is birthed into a really great friendship. Um, in fact, he invited me to come speak at one of his, one of the, the weekends. It's a, a weekend at a camp is part of the, a part of the flow of the ministry um, that, that he leads. And so uh, it's, he calls it his living dead uh, weekend. Uh, once you were uh, dead, now you're living and so on. So I got to speak at one of the sessions and it was Really, that was such a great connection and a, a, one of the Minecraft studies that I'm leading now birthed out of that time together. So uh, Adam and I have uh, formed a friendship and a partnership uh, really in, in ministry and we're, we're hosting a video game night at Sunlight Community Church this Friday at six uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. It is a boys only thing, so sorry girls, it's, it's with CIA, so it is boys only. Um, uh, eight dollars. I'll link the registration uh, in the uh, in the in the comments as well. Um, but that'll be super fun. Um, that that is one of that's that really is going to be the second time as the video game pastor that I really get to share the gospel. Um, that's one of the things that I want to always be able to do is I want to be sharing and, and, and preaching and sharing my faith and sharing the gospel. Um, and so getting to be able to do that in the middle of a Super Smash Brothers tournament is awesome. I think we've got 40. We're really expecting 50, maybe 60 or so. I just got my, my neighbors to uh, their two boys to come. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. So that's it this Friday. If you wanted to help, if that's something that you maybe wanted to be a part of, feel free to let me know. Uh, we've got some volunteer slots open. Um, we've got a, actually, we've got a meeting uh, on Zoom Monday at 630 that we can have you be a part of. Um, we've got three more weeks of the camp at Sunlight, uh, Sunlight Sunlight Christian Academy, and they, like I said, they've been going phenomenally. Uh, and I'm nothing but you know nothing. We've got more fun things planned for the next three weeks. So uh, you know that's just going to be awesome. And then uh, and then like I said, the the event, uh, the back to school bash with Christian FM. That is going to be one that I don't have. It, it as of right now, it's just going to be me. Um, so I'm 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 anticipating. The necessity of four Nintendo Switches with four TVs, and I can barely manage one uh, with a slew of kids coming and all sorts of the, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons everywhere. So I, I would love it if any of you wanted to volunteer with this ministry. This is a big one right there. Um, so that's what's upcoming. I wanted to run through uh, some prayers that I have, ways that you could be praying for this ministry that would mean so, so much to me. Um, the, the First and foremost, I would just love to see the continuity of these Minecraft studies. They, they've done such a good job of of seeing, uh, you know, one kid jump in and he brings in a few of his friends and then there there is a Bible study right there. And so uh, I would love to see... Uh, Pardon my nose. Um, I would love to see more of that. Um, I'd love to see the kids who are still a part of it. I mean, th this is this is what makes the the study so beautiful. Is every single week, each one of those kids is reading the Bible. They are thinking about it critically. They are answering it with comp comprehensively, and then being guided by a pastor through that scripture, and then experiencing the scripture in on a platform that makes sense to them, like Minecraft. 
So it is absolutely brilliant. And I have stories and stories of, of families who have gotten back to me and told me, oh my gosh, this is, this is incredible. I'm so thankful for this. So this is something that I, I want to see all of those kids continue in studies, even through the school year. But also, I'm watching a group from King's Academy. I'm watching them. They've got 10, 11 kids in the group. And I think what I've found is they're all a group of friends. And watching their little Minecraft server blow up has been so much fun to just watch it. Uh, and the things they do, they've got a governor, they've got House of Representatives, they're voting for all this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. And, and that to me is, it's something that is kind of the secret sauce of the success of these studies is when one friend loves it and he gets his other friends along in it and they're just going to continue that friendship and that depth of of relationship together uh, through school year and so on so uh, i'm really really praying that the the success of these studies leads to uh, referrals in a sense in a business term but referrals for other friends and other families um, i'm really praying for uh, this relationship with Christian FM, I think it's really, really phenomenal. I uh, just, I, I mean, I had never talked to this lady, Michelle Pence, before, uh, and we had a 52-minute conversation about ministry, about life, about church, about uh, partnering with each other, and then uh, others for the gospel. And it really was such a, it was such a fun conversation and it was such a hopeful conversation. I'm just really, really praying for that one. Um, not, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, I am speaking at uh, Anchor Church Youth Group, Anchor Youth. Uh, really, really excited for that. Um, so just a, another opportunity to just think through and pray through what God has for those students in this season. Uh, so really excited to get that opportunity, really blessed by um, the the church and their leadership, Sean and Teresa Blakeney, of, of reaching out to me to have me come. Uh, so that was just, that's just a, a blessing. Um, praying for in the fall after school programs. Uh, we, Sunlight Christian Academy has really helped me to find how to best promote and how to best lead various after school programs. So praying for the King's Academy and, and Sunlight Christian Academy as well, which I think that's a shoe in, but uh, Jupiter Christian, Atlanta Christian Academy, uh, Boca Christian, any of those, I'm just really praying that some after school programs start from there. That would be such an incredible opportunity to continue this ministry and continue the, the vision and get the word out about video game ministries and then uh, with that uh, I can do five after school programs in a week uh, so there could be and we're I'm praying for the the right person to come along and even be able to part-time go to some of those after school programs as well if we get five, six, or or the King's Academy and Jupiter Christian can only do Tuesdays, whatever it may be. Um, obviously, I can't believe be in two places at once when they're asking for an in-person thing. I could do it digitally, but I don't think they want that. Um, so just really praying for uh, the right person to come along to be able to help out with some of those things. Um, praying for uh, just more churches, uh, more church connections, whether it be youth pastors or kids pastors or whatever it may be. I have a, a, an upcoming conversation with the some of the, the pastors at, at Christ Fellowship, their kids ministry, uh, just talking. Uh, they, they reached out to me and said, you know, we, we find that we actually now have something to learn from, from you. Uh, so we want to learn, we want to grow, we want to, uh, strategize creatively, uh, some solutions for families and, and their kids, uh, with, with video games. So, uh, more opportunities like that, uh, fills my heart because ultimately the more, to me, the more churches that are starting to grasp the idea that ministry can be done with video games, that's amazing. That's what I want. That's the goal of this. That's the vision. That's the dream of this. Uh, so the more that happens, in my opinion, the, the better. I almost feel as if... Um, 
one of the one of the weeks we talked about John the Baptist and he was a voice calling in the wilderness, right? And and he was you know prepare the way uh, for Jesus. And it was all about Jesus, right? He 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 must become greater. I mean, must become lesser. And there's there's really so much of me that resonates a bit with that story where John the Baptist, his purpose was to get people ready for Jesus. Get them ready for Jesus. Get them ready to understand Jesus is coming. And and so for for me, I'm kind of thinking to myself like, hey, churches, just do something. Figure something out. Let me help you. Let me help you figure out how, what's been successful for me, some things that you can implement at your church that would be easy and so, so effective and so wonderful for your kids and your students, because uh, this is the future. We've we've talked plenty about that. Um, so that would be incredible. More opportunities like that. And then finally, I would actually say um, some more creative ideas for some of the older groups. Uh, Minecraft really, uh, I've found that six is pretty young, but from six to um, probably. Uh, 13, 14 uh, is kind of the, the age group, and that's phenomenal. Uh, but there still is a, there is an older group, 15 to, I mean, I'm 31 and I play video games, so um, there is still so much ministry potential for older groups. And so kind of finding some creative ways, been praying for inspiration from the Holy Spirit to help me figure out what some of those creative uh, ideas for older groups to be able to minister to more. Um, so those are uh, my prayers. Uh, Nelly, I see that. Uh, that was a gift from, and I, I didn't notice that it uh, reflected off of my whiteboard back there, but that was a gift from my mother-in-law, which was so sweet because when I, it was just starting out and I was actually feeling very like, insecure about my setup and I was just, you know, using what I had and, and it still has a lot of work to go and, and so on. I see all the, I go through Instagram and I see all of the setups and I'm like, Oh, I want that. Uh, but that was such a nice touch. It was, it was one of the most intentional, uh, gifts I've gotten in quite some time, excluding everything that my wife gives me. Cause Katie is the most intentional gift giver in the world. Um, so yeah, that was from my mother-in-law. I guess I can see where she gets it from. Um, so all in all, I want to end this really right. I'm at 26. I'm seven minutes over. I, I did, uh, I was the student pastor at Christ Fellowship in Espanol. So that, that, you know, that Latino preaching and whatever, we, you know, I, it, it's been, it's been infused in me. Uh, so I can just keep going and going and going, but uh, I want to end it here so that I could also post this to uh, YouTube. I saw a few of you uh, shared and reacted. For whatever reason, I can't see who or what. I'm sure once I get off of here, uh, I'll see it. Uh, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Um, and so uh, thank you for making it this far. Uh, love you all. Thank you for coming along in this journey. Feel free to reach out. Feel free to pick my brain with that, with ever, with whatever questions or comments you may have, um, and 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 even ideas. Or if you just simply want to, if you want to be a part of this in one way or another, uh, please, please, please let me know. Uh, so thank you for uh, making it to this far. Uh, love you so much. I will talk with you soon.